G'day folks, it's Ramal Ronan speaking, hope you're doing well, it's great to be here my friends and today we're going to do a World of Tanks tutorial video. So this is the World of Tanks Steam version that we're going to be covering in this video on how to play on multiple region servers. Yes, you heard it right, so basically what we're trying to do is trying to mimic what the game center does and the wargaming launcher. So the Wargaming Game Center launcher looks like this and basically if you have downloaded like say for example the North American World Tanks and you want to play on Asia in this case like this one here so basically I'm going to go click on play and it actually spits the dummy and tells you straight up and says no nah, I'm not going to do it. So basically it's saying to you that you need to actually have an existing account that supports that version of the game and basically that's how you can log in with that being said though that what i can say is that it means and implies that if you want to install world tanks for the other regions you have to manually download each one to actually log on to it so there's a downside of it all hopefully that will change in the future so with the account merging assuming you have already done it already in the past 12 months, Wargaming has pushed us hard to let us know that we had to get our accounts merged and everything. And hopefully everyone has done it by now. So fingers crossed that this tutorial is to try and guide you on the right path. So what I'm going to do in this video, folks, is that we're going to use the Steam version of World Tanks and guide you through it. So assuming that you have downloaded and installed the Steam version of World Tanks, you're wondering what to do next, right? So I got a cool website for you all that I think that's actually very, very beneficial. This is the cool website. So this is the website that actually gives you a bit of an insight on how to download and install and configure it in going forward. So this is actually a pretty, very handy website. It, the instructions are pretty basic, but I'm gonna actually show the live version on here with you all right now. So don't forget to like, subscribe to the video and we're going to go through the motions here. So first and foremost, what we need to do is that if you had already downloaded the DLC install files that I showed you brief previously in the previous window, those should be appearing it like this. So there you go, there's a different, you know, different servers and stuff you can play on. But anyways, we're going to cut down to the chase and actually show you how to install it. So first step is actually go to the website, like this one here. This will be under the video description for you to go ahead and get it yourselves. And what you need to do is download all three different region servers, and your Asia server in this case, and then basically you download to your computer. Now, when you get to your computer, this is where the fun begins. So you download to the computer and you got all three files. Okay, they're all zip files very handy, straightforward, and it makes sense. So basically what we need to do is that we need to expand it and extract all these files and they'll all have a batch file each, okay? Now what you need to do is that you need to double click on them and it will pop up a command prompt window for a second and it will automatically install automatically on your DLC version of World Tanks. Now, each one will come up and it'll say like it's been downloaded and installed and will configure it and everything, which is great, okay? So basically, when you go to the Steam version of the game itself, what you need to do is just right click, go properties on the actual game itself, scroll down to DLC, then look in here. Now, I will stress this part is actually seems a bit more tedious than you think. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to minimize this and to avoid confusion. So what we need to do is that my main account is actually on North American server for World of Tanks that I know I do play a lot. But let's just say hypothetically I want to play on World of Tanks on Asia, for example, right? So it's basically a matter of taking the tick checkbox and change it over towards Asia version. Now notice that it's actually Steam is actually getting updated right now. 
So basically what you need to do is let that run in motion and go for it. Now, the question I did uh, was asked about this in behind the scenes was, if I had selected all three, what would happen? Well, truth to be told, you will be actually reinstalling the game three times and for to support all three different regions. So basically, if you're wondering about that, you go right click and browse local files and here it is where it's located. So this is where the Asia server is located as well as NA. And basically, as you can see, that the NA version is actually 72 gig and then basically Asia version is only a small amount but as you can see that this is actually being updated right now and what we need to do is just wait for it to be complete now when it does get complete getting back into this basically it means that you'll be able to log on to the game itself so we're going to wait for a moment here it's not too far now and we're about to go ahead and play the game right about now all right so here we go we click play so here we are okay so it's connecting to your steam account make sure your steam account is actually connected and now we're going to go through the motions of getting that authenticated. Wait one second. Okay, so I have authenticated and I'm actually connecting to my account, which is Admiral Revan. And I go ahead and click OK and click OK to launch. Now, this is the actual launcher that they have within the Steam version. But notice that when you click on this here, that you will be unable to play on NA and EU regions, right? So we're going to cover that in a moment here. So when I want to launch the game, it takes a few minutes to launch the game. And then after the game has been launched, you'll be able to just play on the Asia server. So I can use Ultimate HDR technology if I wanted to, to enhance the graphics of the game if I want to for this gaming monitor, but we won't worry about that for this video. So we're gonna go ahead and log in and within a few minutes that you will notice that you have logged on to the Asia server account for World of Tanks. And if you wanted to log on to the NA server, for example, you can't do a switch account or anything like that by going through the in-game options in here at all or through here begin with right for even like you want to disconnect from server or anything like that so what we need to do is that we need to go back in here and we will need to go through the motions so basically we'll just go ahead and go for the start right click go properties go to the tab called dlc which is this one here and then go to na server so when you have done that basically that it says it's updating and you have to give it a moment for it to go through the motions now if you have selected all three it will download the game three times just a heads up right now for all regions so i'm not 100 percent sure if it actually does you know triple the space between all three servers for the amount of storage and noticing that the you know, 72 gig is quite a fair bit so hopefully in the future that world of tanks will have you know just one game installation for all regions and i hope it works and that is something that i'm really looking forward to today if they do do that hopefully one day but once the game has been updated then we'll go through the motions of logging on to na so bear with us a moment here. Okay guys, so basically that the game has finally been updated on the Steam version to my North American server. And now I want to play the game. So if I click on play right now and just wait for Steam to execute. So here we go. We we'll go through the motions again to authenticate and we'll go through it all the steps. Now, hypothetically speaking that once you've done it, either the first time i don't think it will need you to do this again 
but anyways as you can see that when you go ahead and click on the changes you'll notice that the asia server is not available right now for me so we'll go ahead and log on to the game as it is right now so we'll click on play and we'll wait for a couple of minutes and here we go so world of tanks is loading up on the north american server hopefully it has swapped over to my na account and within a few minutes you'll be able to see everything that's on there so hopefully everything worked out in terms of switch over accounts so here we go and less than a couple minutes away thinking data here we are and voila here we are on the north american server so that's how you do it folks i mean like to swap it over between different accounts on steam which is pretty cool i mean like it's actually pretty straightforward so that's pretty much it so just to recap basically what you need to do is that you need to go ahead and make sure you do the following download the game first on steam for world of tanks Second, you need to go to this website here. This link will be made available for you on the description below. So you download these three files. Okay, so you download these three files here: the NA, EU, and Asia server, for example. And then you follow through the step guides that's shown here. So basically, what happens is that once you download and install it onto your machine. And pretty much that the next step is just basically just getting the game going up and running. So this is where the actual game is installed and it will help you to understand like the different regions. Obviously I haven't logged into EU yet, but I will in the near future. So these are the three files here that I'm talking about for the different regions. What you need to do is just go in there, double click and run it for each one. And then when you want to make sure it's installed properly, you right click on the world tanks, go to properties, go to the tab called DLC, and then you'll see all three different regions there. Now, again, I will stress it out that if you want to only just to save hard drive space and only play one region at a time, just go ahead and basically untick the other uh, region servers and just select the one that you want to play so basically what i've done is that i have already unticked uh, the other region servers and selected on na server and then if you wanted to swap it over to the asia version so basically just untick the na version like so and then click asia version and then basically it'll just update the game and that's it pretty much i wait for a few minutes to make it happen and that's it pretty much so if you have any questions or anything like that folks i mean like you're more welcome to ask or anything like that but i have to say that me personally i think that one game installation of world tanks is a lot easier and a lot more convenient definitely for sure but aside from that hope you enjoyed this video until then stay safe and take care everybody and have a good one